Here's how this works. See, that's pretty cool. This is stainless steel wire. It's 24 gauge, both of these. This is a 22 gauge wire. If you're looking for more durability and a little bit more resistance on the pull, you can use 22 gauge. Um, I think that I personally prefer 24 gauge uh, because it pulls a little nicer. So it has to be steel wire. Copper wire and aluminum wire are both unreliable. Un unrewirable. <laughs> unrewirable. All right, that's not funny. Not as funny as it was in my head. That I like to torch the end of this just to if there's any coating on the wire. This if there's any coating on the wire, this ensures that there is no more coating on that wire. <laughs> uh, the next thing I do is I um, add I abrade it with some 120 grit paper sandpaper. Um, I like to go to hold the wire like this and then put it at 90 degrees just so that the striations that I'm causing, that I'm abrading, the the abrasions, the lines of them, not like you'll ever be able to see this, but they run perpendicular to the direction of pull. The next thing that we can do is we just take a small dowel or the paintbrush. I have two two in these kits that I sell, but Wrap it around here like five, six, seven times. Compress the coil on the dowel. And then come down here and kind of put that last, there we go, somewhat. That's what we're doing there. I'll torch it anyway. In my mind, it retains its shape when you torch it like that. I don't know if that's true, but I'm doing it for like superstitious purposes. So the first thing I'm going to do is use some of the striker composition. I'm not even going to open this. I'm just going to use my little bottle here. I used to fill these kits. Just a little bit of that. That's fine. Um, you can use the PVA glue that's included, or in this case, I'm going to be using nitrocellulose. No, you know what? I'll just use PA. No, I'll use nitrocellulose lacquer so I can finish this video all in one shot. This is 12% nitrocellulose in acetone, and uh, this is regular PVA glue, clear Elmer school glue. This is perfectly adequate too. However, it does have a little bit of a longer dry time. I'm just gonna go like this, mix this up. If you are making this on your own without my kit, and you make that ignition composition, and you can't get red phosphorus, I tested uh, two batches of around 10 igniters each of making these without red phosphorus and um, I had about two out of ten so a twenty percent success rate it doesn't take much red phosphorus to initiate this reaction because what's happening is the allotrope pure metal a tetrahedron some blah 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 okay so these are going to dry rapidly. Next thing we're doing is filling these ignition cups. Come on, Ming. Come on, Ming. So, oh, here's one for my last little batch. This big-ass needle is from the kit. I put a little blob of UV glue on the end of the needle so it doesn't puncture anything or poke you when you stick your hand in. So I've popped a little hole in this. I'm going to slide this wire in like so. to approximately this distance. I'm gonna leave it loose for now and, and, and wait until I mix up the ignition mix, okay? So 
you mix these two together and then you get this. This is the ignition composition. I'm just gonna load up some of this with some, oh, you can turn this in this thing inside out. I'm gonna load some of this in there. That's too much, but it's okay. Load this up with some PVA glue. Hey now. I like to bank it on the side so that the air I can purge the air easier. Easier. Cool. Now what we do is we fill these cups up to like 40 to 50 percent. I like to fill them up and then suck it out. Uh, and then we just boop embed it in like that. Well, that's kind of a lot, but that's okay. I think I should probably cut the tip off for this. Fill it up. Suck it up. There, that's good. Then embed it like so. Bam. All right, so here's a demonstration again of how these work. See, so then you just slide this ignition cup up into a mason bead tube. I like to coat them in UV resin or CA glue just to add durability and waterproofing. But, um, yeah, it's... Let me turn off the... Where's my little lights? All right. So here's how this works. Maybe I'll cut this a little shorter. <laughs> to turn off rear floods... Okay. Um, look at these little channel logs. They're so cute. All right. Ready? Okay. See? Isn't that cute? I'll show you again. Just because it's so fun. And I may have over... Oh, this one I popped a hole in for a fuse. See? So anyway, that's how that works. Here's a fun little montage of a few of the ways that this kit can be used. Um, you can see my other igniter videos. I made a million of them because I sell them and this is my primary income because YouTube censors the f*** out of my channel. That's that. Okay, well, thank you. Love you. Bye.